guys, welcome back to Tech with TJ. If you're new here, you know, please consider subscribing, especially if you like these types of videos. Um, to get started, I wanted to talk about the Centauri Carbon. I've had it for over 200 hours, and so I thought I'd give it a review about its longevity and how it's performed. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is uh, reliability. The Centauri Carbon has been really solid. I've done back-to-back -back prints. I've done, you know, prints that I've taken like 18, 19 hours, and I mean, they've just come out fine. Uh, everything about the machine, like the hardware in it, like belts, rails, things like that, have had no, no problem. Um, it's been an easy, just click print and let it go type of situation. So I really like that about this machine. Um, I've never had an issue with like the G code or anything like that when sending over prints like some people have had, but I think in this newest update that they released, that kind of fixed most of the issues uh, like that. Uh, I guess too, if I keep on looking up and down and back at you, that's just because I have a, a, not a script here, but just like a outline of what I made. And I want to make sure I hit all these points because I think it's very valid and good for those that are uh, thinking of getting this printer. So the print quality over time has been uh, just solid. Like I said, I mean, this anything I throw at it, it can print. Uh, I only have printed with uh, PLA and PETG. And to kind of show you guys, I will have a video playing. So that way you guys can just see what I'm talking about and kind of know that what you're getting is a reliable printer. I have a, a small issue with uh, carbon, the carbon fiber PLA that Elegoo sent with the printer. It, uh, I guess, wait, when they say that they sent it with a printer, I did not get like sponsored anything. I, when I bought the printer, I bought some kind of, uh, it was a pre-order and you got a roll of the carbon fiber filament. So just to kind of clarify, <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, it warps after like five layers down. I don't know why five layers is like kind of warping and things like that. But after that, it's fine. So that could be a user error, which it is more than likely. I haven't ever printed with that type of filament, nor have I changed any setting of it. So like I said, that's probably just a me error, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Uh, maintenance wise, uh, I've cleaned the bed plate, of course, I've cleaned the nozzle, you know, just kind of, I mean, done your main, like just bare minimum stuff, just vacuumed out the inside of the printer, printer to make sure it was a clean surface. Uh, the nozzle is still the original nozzle. And so that's pretty cool. I've seen some people's break and thing like, and things like that, but mine hasn't. And so, I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, the bed surface hasn't lost adhesion at all. I still use the bed plate that it came with and it works just fine. Some people say that the fans will get loud and things like that. I think that they've gotten quieter, to be honest with you. That could be because I've gotten used to it or, or they actually did get quieter. So take kind of that with a grain of salt. I, I don't really know. I, I, I think that they got quieter though. I'm pretty sure that with one of the updates that they released, they kind of ramped down the fans so that way it wasn't so loud. Um, maintenance wise, still I think is just crazy that all I've done is uh, what I've said before that uh, I haven't had anything break or anything like that. Uh, I'm kind of surprised by that because not that Elegoo isn't a good brand, but they're known to be a budget brand. And usually with budget stuff, you know, you have a couple things break that might not on better. Uh, equipment. Uh, the software wise, their Elegoo slicer works perfectly. I highly recommend downloading that and using it. Uh, I have all Elegoo printers, so it was just easy for me to connect both of them and send prints over the internet, things like that. Works fine. Uh, they're, they have like a pre made, uh, I'm trying to lost the name of them but the filament types and things like that they have custom presets presets for the uh, filament that they have and I've used those I usually buy Elegoo filament mainly because it's cheaper but when if I buy a different brand uh, I'll let you know about how their 
uh, profile works. But uh, so far, I haven't had a single issue with printing wise, which has been amazing. Uh, I think so far, what's impressed me the most is just how long, how, just how this printer just stayed together in terms of like, like I said, I mean, it was hard to make this video just because I've had nothing go wrong. I've had no surprises. It's just been, it's just working. And especially after 200 hours, you would think that something might have broke or something like that. And it hasn't. It just works. So if you're debating about getting this pr printer, I highly recommend it. But yeah, um, nothing has really made it shown its age. Uh, kind of put it into my little notes here that I wish that the fans were still a little quieter. Um, like I said, it, the noise level has definitely gotten down. And I don't know if that's just me or, like getting used to it or the fans actually did die down. But uh, it's still a little loud at some times, but it's not like a constant loud noise. Uh, the adhesion on the build plate, still solid. Uh, it is kind of showing, it. that is what I would say, showing its age, that build plate. Uh, I'm looking at maybe getting a new one just to have a backup just in case if something happens, but so far it's been working fine, so I'm just going to ignore it. Uh, um, I guess now I have a little section here to talk about the rumors about this and kind of community talk. Just saying what I've read and been reading and what some people have made videos about. So a little disclaimer. I, you know, I mean, this is just me talking. I am going to say that these are rumors until Elegoo has announced that they're real or not. Uh, I don't want to mislead anyone by saying, but you know, by maybe misinterpreting something. So like I said, I'm just going to talk here. Feel free to fact check me. But one of the rumors that I've seen is that they're coming out with a Centauri Carbon 2. I don't know if that's true or not. Some I saw it was a post and someone said like on this on a Chinese website they found that Elegu was doing this and I personally I don't think that'll affect people looking to buy the Centauri Carbon, I guess the first one, because um they're two different machines. So the Centauri Carbon 2 reportedly look kind of looks like the if you've ever seen the Flash Forge, I think it's their AD 5X with the four, four spools sticking out the side, and that's how it does the multicolor. That's how this one looks, apparently. I'm going to call these rumors and kind of say that they're not true until Elegoo says they are. So, uh, so yeah, I, I don't think that that will affect this printer at all. Um, I've also heard rumors about people saying that they just kind of abandoned the Centauri Carbon in general in terms of it's multicolor system um, because it was supposed to be released I believe they said a uh, later third quarter I think by like November or I don't I don't actually know they did say it was gonna be released later and they haven't really announced anything yet or said anything about that and they actually removed uh, the color printing from the website itself uh, I don't think that's true I think it's just going to take time because you figured they made this printer really good, last long. I mean, be one of the best printers out there with only $300. I think if we give them time, they'll make a really good uh, multi-filament system that, if I had to guess, will probably be around, I'd say, 100, 100 bucks to maybe $150. Uh, I don't think it would be, you know, I don't think it'd be more than half the cost of the printer. But I also don't know. Anyways, I, I did just kind of want to talk about that. I've also heard rumors that they are making a multicolor filament system. And they're making two versions. One of them is kind of going to be like a base model version. The other one is going to have like some upgraded stuff. That's what I kind of choose to believe is what they're going to do. Because that m makes kind of more sense, I would say. Uh, if that does happen, I'll probably get the upgraded version because that way I won't have to worry about it uh, but yeah I just kind of wanted to mention those rumors and address them uh, like I said though this is just me talking and nothing has been confirmed by Elgu so far so I guess that's good uh, but now to get kind of to my final thoughts though of this printer uh, so since I've owned it like I said I've had no problems 
it's worked perfectly fine. There's really not much I'd want to change about it. Uh, I highly recommend this to anyone that's looking to get into 3D printing or you are, are into 3D printing right now and just want a good upgrade. Um, it can print um, a lot of filaments. Uh, I've only printed with PLA and PTG, so I don't want to uh, lie to you guys and be like, oh, you know, whatever you want to print, it can print. But that's what they claim on their, on their website. But yeah, so if you're looking to get this printer, I highly recommend it. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Please like, like, subscribe, and follow.